Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in, this is Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 103. Be victorious in 2020 and beyond. So this is a goal-orientated podcast this week. Hopefully you listened to the episode 101 last week, which was um, set your goals on fire. And then the Friday Blitz was should you tell people about your goals. So very goal-orientated ones because I think it's the perfect time. Sure, that's what January is all about. I know a lot of people don't like January. They think it's, I don't know, gloomy or, or negative or it's a hard start. And it is a hard start. Um, all the goals that you do have and all the plans that you have in place, sometimes there's a couple of hiccups, especially in the first couple of weeks or, or for the month of January. But you know what? It is a fresh start. It's a fresh start of the year. And as I've kept going on, it's a brand new decade. Sure, even myself, I thought I'd be way ahead of schedule. So I'm, I'm lecturing you about goals, but sure I'm not. This is the first time um, that I've actually recorded the podcast on the same day that it's going to go out. That's how that's how late I have left it. But you know what? We're here. We're doing it. As everyone is saying at the moment, it is what it is. And what I'm going to try to, to express to you is as long as you're going one foot in front of the other, it doesn't have to be perfect. It might not happen exactly as you've imagined it, but as long as you're moving forward, you're doing well and you should still just keep regrouping and focusing on your goals. That's the very first tip for this one. So be victorious in 2020 and beyond. How, you, how do you do that? Well, it's five simple points. The first one was focus. So focus on what you want. Now, truly what you actually want. Focus on your goals. Use your pen and paper. Take your time. Figure it out. What's in your heart and your soul, as well as your mind? What is it that you really want? So we've we've gone, we've probably you probably flogged that one to death last week. So at this stage, hopefully you have your your goals in place. If you don't, re-listen to those podcasts. Uh, the next thing is planning. So you know what you want to do. You need to make it a little bit more concrete. You need to break it down into actionable steps. You need to make it realistic on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis. Small tasks that add up to your larger goal. Planning is really important. Keep in mind, goals take longer than you first anticipate. You're generally able to achieve a lot more than you realize, but it also takes a lot longer than you realize to achieve the things that you want. So keep that in mind. Have have. You know, you don't have to have realistic goals, but you have to have a realistic time frame, if that kind of makes sense to you. So think bigger with your goals, but be real, more realistic with your time frame. It can take a little bit longer. So number three, then you've got your you're focused on what you want. You know what you want. You've got all, all laid out in plans, which you've probably done last week. Motivation. Now, if you if the goals have come from your soul, if, if the things that you want have come from your heart, your mind, your, your DNA, your core, your core being, you know exactly what you, you want. Guess what? Your motivation will automatically be tied to it. It won't be as much of a challenge. If you're picking out things that you don't really want, it's hard to stay motivated long term. What should motivate you, if they're really proper goals, is just rereading your goals, just looking at them, just reminding yourself of your own goals should give you the self-motivation to keep wanting to work towards them. If that doesn't, are they even proper goals? Is it genuinely something that you even wanted in the first place? So you know what I mean? When you're in, when you're in school or you're in further education and you're doing a subject that you're not that interested in, it's extremely hard to stay motivated. It's extremely hard to focus. And as soon as you've got a teacher that you like and a subject that you like, um, are you are you watching Netflix and you come across a box series that you like? Uh, you're going to a box set or series that you like. You're going to immediately binge watch the whole lot. It's easy to stay focused. It's easy to be motivated to watch one episode after another episode after another episode. So pit that against something that you're not really that interested in. 
it's going to be very hard to binge watch something you're not interested in. So if those goals are really true goals to you, you will automatically be motivated every time you remind yourself of the goals. I mean, there's a lot of ways to make yourself accountable. There's a lot of ways to, to you know, work on your motivation. Whether, you know, you can be listening to motivational material podcasts, for example, um, documentaries, um, books, all that kind of stuff can help you. But also, just the process of looking at your own goals, if they're proper goals and the properly defined goals, that should actually spike your motivation to continue. And remind yourself why you're doing it and what how, what will change if you achieve or you get whatever it is you're setting out to do. Right, that's focus, planning, motivation. Number four, discipline. Now, this is the one that you need to be doing every day. So you need to be working on your goals every day. It's the discipline of doing something every day, of looking at it every day, of every week, of every month, of every year, being prepared to do it for another decade. That sets the difference between people who are very successful and people who give up easier. And that is, you know, people who are successful are disciplined. They can do it day in, day out, stick with it day in, day out, and do it has to be done on an ongoing basis almost robotic autonomous way they will just do what they have to do so they are focusing on their goals they have all their plans in place they're keeping themselves motivated but that daily grind that self-discipline that choosing the right thing to do again if you're motivated to do to work towards your goal you will invariably do the right thing so if you've got two chances go towards your goal or you know DOS, go off and do something that's not goal related. It's that discipline. Once you once they're proper goals and you're highly motivated, it's that discipline that ties you to doing what you're supposed to be doing. But it's the consistent nature that a lot of people slip up on is that they can't can do something consistently for the long term. So again, discipline is very hard if it's something that doesn't interest you. So if you've set yourself up for failure by giving yourself a random goal I don't know it could be you could just go do you know what I want a Lamborghini now if that's not a really if it's that just came out of your mind because it sounded like a right kind of a goal to say or sounded like a cool thing to wish for and it's not an actual like you in your bone marrow you want this Lamborghini if that's not the case then you really kind of have set yourself up for failure maybe you'll still get it but you have to really really want it to get it if it's just kind of came out of ego or came out of nowhere and that i don't know that you'll have the discipline to to work towards that goal on a daily almost a minute by minute hour by hour basis so discipline is very important so that's focus planning motivation discipline now the last one is endurance the ability to endure when things aren't going your way. So to keep going through whatever hardships, whatever distractions, whatever setbacks, whatever slip ups, whether they're self-induced or not, the ability to keep getting back on track to fight against all of that and to continue to focus on your goals, plan your goals, motivate yourself and stick, go back to your self-discipline. So as I said, this is early in January. A lot of goals have been set to start of January and already this slip, I've already slipped up and stuff. But you know what? The difference is I don't think that that's it. I don't think that, oh, you know, I slipped up. That's it. I may as well give up. I just get back on track again, one foot in front of the other. Sounds like I have everything sorted. That's not what I'm trying to project. I'm just trying to project that if you have slipped up, if you've fallen off the wagon already early into January, it's not the end of the world. Forgive yourself, get back on track, one foot in front of the other and carry on regardless. It's not letting any of those things um make you give up, basically. So endurance, endurance, not just from a fit. I know endurance is a word, um, that people use for for you know having fitness, but it's the ability to endure, endure hardship, and to carry on, or to endure hardship and to keep on going, or to endure hardship and to get back on track, refocus and continue on despite the hardship that you had to endure. So number one is focus exactly on what you want, what you truly want. Number two was planning. So really plan it down as strategically as possible. That process also helps you to see it in your mind to visualize it. Number three, motivation. So really motivate yourself by constantly going over your goals, re- reviewing your goals, refocusing on your goals. Number four is discipline. And not just, you know, the discipline now and again, it's discipline every day. Every decision adds up towards your goals long term. That's the part that catches everybody out. And number five was endurance. 
having the endurance to deal with the hiccups because not everything is going to go smoothly. Your, your endurance is tested when things are going against you. Your endurance isn't tested when everything is going your way. And unfortunately, on a day-to-day -day basis, everything doesn't go your way. If you concentrate on those five things, you will be victorious in 2020 and beyond. I don't see why you wouldn't be. I wish you all the best with your goals. If you need any help, if you need any extra motivation, or you just want to chat to somebody um, regarding your goals, that's exactly what I'm here for. It's a subject I absolutely love, and I absolutely love this time of year because of it. Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.